Good evening. The tale I'm about to tell you is true. All the facts are on record and can be verified. Let me uh, set the scene for you. We were in the garden rooftop of a Hollywood hotel. The date is October 31st, 1936. A clear, cool Saturday evening, 9pm. We are here to conduct a seance. A seance for perhaps the greatest shogun, magician, escapologist the world has ever known. Harry Houdini. It is 10 years since Houdini's death. A seance has been held every year by his widow, Bess. On the table, a picture of Houdini, beside it, a burning candle. The candle flame had burned for 10 years. As each candle burnt down, a new candle was lit from it. And so it was an eternal flame of remembrance. On the table was a coil of rope. Houdini was known as the escape king. He once claimed that no rope, no chain, no lock could hold him. Also on the table was a pair of simple school slates common use at the time and a small piece of chalk. There was also a pair of handcuffs. These were owned and used by Houdini to escape from a prison cell at Stockholm Yard, London. They were locked. There was no key. Gathered together on this rooftop, there were press, local dignitaries, friends and family, and of course, Bess Houdini. For hours, they begged, they pleaded, they asked for a message from Houdini. He had promised Bess that if there was a way, he, the great Houdini, would find a way to get a message to her. Throughout his career, he had searched himself for proof of an afterlife. In so doing, he exposed many fake mediums. He never got the answer he was looking for. As the midnight hour approached, Bess Houdini rose from her seat and went across to the candle. This is a recording of her actual words from 1936.
and with that she extinguished the candle and left the rooftop. All the other people there started to collect their belongings. And then a sudden thunderstorm, violent and heavy, came from the clear skies. It sent them all scattering. The very next day there was hardly a mention in the press. But what did they expect to happen? Let's go back. The seance is still in progress. The candle still burns. Did they expect, for instance, the rope to have tied itself into knots? Is this possible? I don't know. Maybe they expected a message from beyond. And spirits do this again. I don't know. Maybe they uh, thought Houdini could escape from the cuffs and unlock them from beyond the grave. None of this happened. What did happen was a common earthly event. Here in the UK, we would think nothing of a shadow. But remember, this is California. It does rain there. But when it rains, it rains for days. Showers never, ever happen. Was this a sign for the You decide. Good night.